Good morning, my YouTube family. Um, today we're gonna get in a subject that might be hard for some people. They don't want to hear it, but I'm gonna tell it like it. Ti is okay. There's a lot of young women today dealing with abuse and older women. Okay, abuse in any form is never good. No matter what that woman can do, you don't have no right to lay your hands. On no woman I'm talking to you supposed to be men out there too because you can leave that woman you can go in another room and take a breather but you don't lay your hands on nobody child because you didn't bring her in this world you have no business laying on laying your hands on her you ain't her daddy okay so first of all and so I'm just here to talk to some of you women that may be going through this that may go through some red flags, you know, when you start dating and stuff. But I'm letting you know, coming from experience, that abuse is not love. Okay, we're going to take it back many years ago when I was young. I met a man at 16. I'm not saying names. You didn't know me. You know who I'm talking about. But I met this man, and he um was sweet, loving, kind, everything. That I wanted a man, but I was naive. I was 16, he was 26 when we met. And ended up, we had, we had a wonderful relationship the first two years. Everything was going right, going good and everything. I started having my babies and everything was fine. Until drugs came in the picture. When drugs came in the picture, the person changed. He started becoming verbally abusive. And then it went from verbal abuse to physical abuse. For me, did it went from physical abuse to my children. That's what a line should have been drawn at. But back then, I was a a, a person that was thinking lo um, abuse was love. I grew up with abuse, thinking abuse was love, and so I I dealt with it. And I also thought things would change and things would get better because I didn't want to lose my family. But what I did was lose my precious gifts. So what happened was he just started. Picking on my oldest son, abuse and, and and he would pick on him and abuse him. Stand him up in corners, stand him up on his head. He was doing all kind of vile things to my son. And where was I? Either gone or in the other room. And not taking up for my my children. I'm telling you, your children are the most important gift that God has given you if you got them. And you have to protect them by all means necessary, women. Don't let no man abuse your child. So what happened was my son had went to school well, one night. I don't know what he was. He wasn't sweeping the floor. Or bro he broke a pencil or something. And my kid's father just came in there and just started beating him with a paddle he had. And he beat him so hard the next day. My son couldn't even sit down in school. I couldn't even sit down. So, this is it's many incidents, but this is the one I'm talking about. That what happened is that while my children were taken away from me when I was younger. So I'm trying to give y'all younger women some wisdom and women, older women too that are going through this. And along this nigga, and y'all excuse my word for nigga, okay? It's, it's not derogatory to me right now with men that are low life, that are not doing nothing for this woman. That are using and abusing women, laying hands on women, beating them, putting them down, uh, emotional, physical abuse. We can go on and on. Sexual abuse. I'm talking to them. Okay? And about them. If you ain't doing that, if the shoe don't fit, don't wear it. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking about men that are in these homes abusing these women and they're allowing it to happen. So, women, you got to take a stand and not allow this to happen. But anyways, what happened was my son went to school. And as a teacher, principal, and everybody else, any kind of abuse, you you got to report that. And so they came to my house because he couldn't sit, have a hard time sitting down. I'm sorry, Joe, but I have to say this. That's my oldest son that this, he went through this. My other kids were affected by abuse. Don't tell me that when one kid go through it, the rest of them can go, is going to be next. 
So, in a way, I'm glad. At that time, I was young, and CPS stepped in and took my children away. That was a good reason. Because I did not stand up to this man like I was supposed to. I don't care who, what, hitting your kids. Who, what is like for that person or whatever. But you don't let no one abuse your child in any kind of form. You stand up. If you got to leave or they got to leave that house, something got to be done right away. You can't keep on giving them chances. Because somebody can one hit, that person could be dead. That child could be dead. You can be dead with one hit. So abuse is not love, okay? I'm going to let you women know that again. Abuse is not love. If someone is using you, abusing you, calling you names, putting you down, sexually assaulting you when you just said N and O and what part they don't understand, the N or the O, you are in an abusive relationship. If he's belittling you, Frightening on you in front of people. You know, screaming at you, yelling at you, blaming you for everything. It's not, it's not your, it's your fault. You the one did it. Please get to know a man. Come on. You, it's, 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 you're not, it's not that serious that you have to have a man in your life. We want and desire one, but we don't have to have him. There's plenty of stores you can go to when it gets hot in the kitchen. I'm letting you know that I'm keeping it real today with some of y'all women. I ain't been a ice, ain't putting ice in a cake. And if you feel like I'm a bad person for what I went through, I didn't overcame all of that. But I still face consequences with my children still not in relationship the way I want to because of trust and because of what happened in my past. I know God has forgiven me and I've finally forgiven myself, but it's going to take time for some of my children to forgive me. I have five children living. And it's still hard for them to understand how can a mother allow any man or any woman for that matter. Because there are some men that are abused. It ain't just women. There are men out there being abused. They're ashamed to say anything. They don't want to step up. They don't want their friends and family to know that they're being abused by this woman. Whether she's slapping him, whether she's throwing his food on the floor, cussing at him when she's coming in the house. Using him, cheating on him. There are women out there that are abusive as well, but men ain't stepping up. And if you're being abused by a woman, it's wrong too. Either way, but I'm talking about women right today in my situation, what I went through. But anyway, CPS came to my house. And they took my children away. This happened over 30 years ago, but I'm letting y'all know. I'm being real with you on this channel. I don't have to tell my business, but I'm sharing it in hopes that somebody out there that's going through this or might go through in the future and see those red signs to stop that relationship right away. Don't give them no chance after chance because that one chance, what it take, can kill you or your children too. So y'all hope y'all can listen to me today that are going through that. And, and women, teach your children or, and parents, teach your young men while they're in the home how to treat a woman. Even though you don't know what's going to happen with drugs and everything else. But please teach your children as they young. Walk with them every day on how to treat. And be an example to them and at home of how you, a, a person should be treating each other. You know, don't sit there cussing them out. Cussing your children. Yelling at them all the time. Learn parenting skills if you don't have it. Take time out. Not time out on your children. Okay, don't do that. If y'all got a discussion or something, take it somewhere else. Wait till the children sleep. Make sure they sleep. Because a lot of children are going there and they ain't sleep. They're hearing everything that's going on. Or go somewhere else and talk. Go to counseling. If you got issues that severe where you got to yell and throw things. Because violence is not the answer. Some of y'all people saying, especially black families, time off didn't work. About work for me many years. But no, it's teaching your kids that violence is okay. That if I hit, if you hit me, I'm going to go to school and hit other kids. That can't, that do happen. Kids hit, they see all that. They're angry inside. They want to come home to peace and they go what? To the school acting out. And guess who got to deal with it all day? Teachers. Got to deal with it all day. But I'm telling you, when CPS came and took my, my son, then they came and took the rest of my children. I lost all the rest of my children. I'm being, being honest. And what I did, I went through 
after a while, I got rid of that of him. You know, I got away from him. He took off. The charges wasn't pressed because God gave me a chance. I had a sergeant that came in, and I don't know his name, but he came in and he said, Ma'am, I see you seem like you have a good heart. He says, I'm going to give you a chance here. He says, if you just get away from this man within the next week, we won't press charges. I got away from this situation. It took me losing my kids, but I got away because I wanted a chance to, to love them again and prove to them that I can be that better mother by not choosing the wrong man in my life. And so what happened is I did what that sergeant said. I got away from him. I moved out in another city, got an apartment, trying to get myself together. I went through parenting classes. I went through psyche vows. I went through one-on-one -on -one counseling. I went through the court sessions. The court, when they had court, I was there. Some days I missed because of the bus, but I was there. I came late. I have supervised visit where they sit there and watch you while you visit your children. I went through all of that. I have visits at their group homes eventually. Eventually, my child, my girls got put up for adoption. I lost the court case. I had so much going up against me. I had depression going up against me to use my past. I was dealing with alcoholism. And I was dealing with, with low self-esteem. And I lost the case. I lost my children. If I can just help one person out there, somebody to let you know that abuse is not love. I grew up in abuse. I grew up in a foster system. My grandmother was an abusive person. So I didn't know what real love was when you grow up with abuse. When you grow up being hit instead of talked to, instead of a child being sitting in a corner, sitting in the room, you're getting hit with rubber hose. Or you're getting hit with brooms. Or you find something flying up a, a, across the room at you. Like, what did I do? There got to be a better way to parent than to yell at your child. If you get angry, don't deal with them. Wait till you calm down and then go deal with your child. Get a chair. Sit them out and time out. You say it don't work, but it's consistency is the answer. If you keep doing it, it will work. Just keep doing it and, spend, and love your children. Spend time with them. Positive reinforcement. Don't do the negative. I have to learn the hard way. I learned all this hard way after I lost my precious gifts. But I'm letting you know, abuse is never love. And so when growing up in my life, I had no one to protect me. No one to protect me when I came home. And I was attacked sexually. No one protect me when I was a victim of molestation. No one protect me when I go and told my grandmother told people. Usually your, your parent, you tell somebody that, they finna call the police on your ass quick and in a hurry. But no one did anything. It was my fault. I shouldn't have been looking. It shouldn't have been off there. I'm too fast. We're in this. No protection. No one to talk to. You're scared to tell because you're feeling somebody's going to abandon you. They're going to reject you. They're not going to believe you. So you don't tell. It's that secret in the family. Shh. Don't tell. But if anyone is going through abuse today, please tell it. You can't get out of this situation. You don't, you can't, there is help out there for you. You don't deserve it. And get to know somebody before you make a commitment to them, before you get in a relationship with them. Get to know that person, not by their looks. Looks are deceiving. Look at Satan. One of the most beautiful angels I heard. And he was, he, he came up against God and was thrown out of heaven. Him and one third of the angels went with him to the earth. So looks are deceiving. 
you know, get to know that man or woman. Talk to them. Talk to their friends. Talk to their family. Get to know them. And if you see them red flags where he's yelling at you, trying to control you, telling you what you can't do, what you can't wear. I mean, if he's fronting on you in front of his friends, if he's making jokes about your body image, about something about you that, that he sees as a flaw, if he's talking about you and fronting on you and, and, and abusing you, if he hits you in any way, get out. Get out of that relationship because that is not love. Tell somebody. Don't be afraid. You ain't a snitch. Tell your 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 family. Tell your friends. Listen to those people that are telling you this is not right. Listen to those people that are telling you you don't deserve that. Listen to those people that are telling you you don't need that. Don't keep take opening your door like a revolving door and letting them back in your heart. Oh baby, I'm sorry. It's called that honeymoon stage. It's a cycle of abuse. They nice and sweet and loving. And then pow. Here come the emotional abuse and the verbal abuse again. Here come physical abuse again. Love. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I won't do it no more. I love you. Please forgive me. Everything's fine. Happy holding hands. Walking down the street. Going places. Doing things. Pow. What you say to me? What you say to me, B? Who you looking at him? You talking to him? Pow. Next thing you know, I'm sorry, honey. I won't do it again. I didn't mean to hit you. Your face is, I didn't mean to hurt you like that. Listen, please do not keep giving these low lights, punks, chance after chance because they will not change if they don't want to change. We can't make anybody change. They're not going to change. If they're going to want to change, they're going to keep repeating the cycle. You are not their mother. You are not God. Let them go and get the help they need. And if they did, there's, and even if they did get help, I'm, you might not even want them back. Get you together. Love you more. And love you enough to know that you deserve better than that. No one deserves to be a punching bag. I am not a counselor. You are not a counselor. You're not his mother. If he wasn't raised by his mother right, how you going to raise him? He's a grown ass man. Time to get up and either straighten up or ship the hell out. That's what you got to do. It's time to let him go. If he is not going to abuse you, abuse come in different forms, women. Abuse can be sexual. Where you telling him no, the end of the oh, which part he don't understand. And he's still taking it anyway. That's abuse. That's rape. He cannot take your body if you don't want to willingly give it to him. That is rape. Doing something like that to your body, affecting your body, your emotions. You can't do that. Emotional abuse. Battering you. Doing stuff you don't like. Over and over, nagging, annoying you, ignoring you. You trying to talk and communicate? Don't talk to me. I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone. That is a form of emotional abuse. Putting you down. Belittling you. You'll never amount to nothing. No man gonna want you and no one, no man gonna take care of you like I can. No man gonna love you. Look at the way you look. Who else gonna want you? That's not love. That's not love. Yelling at you. For no reason. You're the, and then playing the blame game. It's your fault. If you would have been quiet, I wouldn't have to go through this. If you would have shut your mouth, I, I wouldn't have to hit you. That's not love. You have a right to talk. You have a right to communicate. You got to know when to talk and when not to. But in a relationship, you should. It's a communication is a two-way street. I talk, you listen. You talk, I listen. But if I can't talk to you about 
anything that's going on. What do I need you for anyway? If I can't even come to you and talk without knowing you're going to be on the defense. Without knowing I'm going to be yelled at and cussed out. And next thing you know, you're going to raise your hand at me. And that's one reason I'm staying, going to be staying alone soon. Because I'll tell people, or man, don't call the police, call the coroner. I'm not the bitch. I'm telling you that. I'm not the one. I've been through there too much. And I know what real love really is. I just give people a chance at a chance. And you cannot do that, women. Don't give them a chance. And if someone is hurting you and they want to go, let them go. There's a door. Don't let it split you, okay? That's what they say and say. I don't know what they're saying, but y'all know what I'm talking about. And let them kick rocks. You don't deserve that, women. You got to know your self-love, your self-worth. And loving yourself is saying no. Loving yourself is not putting up with someone that's going to put you down, bring you down. That's sexual abuse. That's financial abuse. You can't spend this. You got, you know, this is the money. We're going to do this and we're going to do that. God said the man's supposed to be the head of the house, but that don't mean he's supposed to be the master of you. He ain't supposed to put you down and rule over you and tell you what you can and can't do. It's a mutual relationship when you're in a marriage and a relationship, a mutual commitment. It ain't just me telling you what to do and you telling I'm, I'm, I what to do and all this stuff. It's us communicating together and talking it out and working something out and then compromising. We don't deserve it. That man can kill you. Read on the statistics. You got to read these people. There's a lot of podcasts out there. There's good people. There, there's Jay. He got a podcast. There's a Trey show. He got a podcast. Different women out there that own a podcast. And on the show is letting you know the statistics of how many women have died because of abuse. Domestic violence. Your children are seeing this. Well, I stay because of the kids. No, the kids don't need to see this. They don't need to be around that. CPS to step in and you can lose your precious gifts. You don't want to go through the pain of losing your children because of one man who's not even worth it. He's not worth it. Not losing your children. He's not worth it. Let him go. There's a many good parents that are single. Parents raising their children and doing just fine. There are men they got that can be mentors. There's friends in their life that are good men that can be role models to their children. You don't need that. Let him go. I'm trying to save one woman, two women, or whatever I can save out there from going through the pain I went through of losing my children. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Because then you're going to one day wake up to, why, mom? Why? Why do you protect me? Why wasn't you there? I don't know you. I don't want you in my life. Now that you want me, I don't want you. I'm going to reject you because I'm hurt. You hurt at me. And you end up not building those relationships again. Because of your choices. You can have a choice today to decide to stay with this man. You know, he's thinking with the wrong head. Okay? It ain't that good, honey. It ain't that good. Not where you being abused and used. Not where you being put down and talked about. It ain't that good. Get out of it. There's better out there for you. God has somebody better. But first, you got to love yourself. Learn to be alone and happy. By yourself. Okay? You don't need to put up with the have a man to be happy. I desire that. You desire that. But we don't have to have it. Be happy with yourself. And know you deserve better. Don't put up with no kind of abuse. In any way. Whether it's sexual abuse. Emotional abuse. Verbal abuse. Financial abuse. Whatever the abuse is. When someone is neglecting, hurting you. And you're hurt, whether it's physical abuse, whatever it is, any kind of abuse, you don't deserve none of it. And don't put up with it. 
because the cycle can repeat itself. He'll do it again. He'll do it again. You can't change him. If he don't want the help, it's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. Love yourself. You're not alone. God says he'll never leave you or forsake you. He's with you and he'll send people in your life that love you. Your children love you. Your family love you. You got friends that love you. You're not alone. You don't need abuse in your life. Let go. Let him go. That's the best thing to do. Let him go. And sex is not love. People think sex is love. Sex is good if it's two people, mutual people doing it and they want it. Yeah, it can be good. But out of context, sex does not mean I love you. Okay? Anybody can have sex. Dogs have sex. That don't mean they love that dog. Okay? A man can go from a woman to a woman to a woman. Know your word. It ain't about what's between your legs. It's about what's up here and what's in here. It ain't always about what's down there, okay? Think with the right body part. Knowing that you deserve better than that. Girl, save your cookies for the right man to deserve them. Don't just give them to anybody. Don't just give them to anybody that just comes along. Sweet talking, loving you, and he looking good, tall, dark, and handsome, and everything else. Got money. Abuse don't care. It, it can come in any forms. Black, white, Mexican, Chinese, Indian. Abuse can come in any form. It doesn't care about color. It don't discriminate. A man can be abusive no matter what race he is, what size he is, what economic statics he has, what color he is, what state he lives in. Abuse can come in many forms. Learn about abuse and stay away from it. Know that you deserve better. You don't have to be stuck in your past no more. Abuse is not love, okay? It's not love. It is not love at all. And just know that you deserve better, do better, and be better. Women, we can do it. God bless y'all. And I had to share my story today. And I'll share some more. Because I'm keeping it real. I love God. We're going to talk about God and Jesus mostly on this channel. But I want to talk about real life sometimes. Or what we as women going through and could go through. And how the Bible says to teach the, the older women are to teach the younger women. And I've been there and done that. I've been through a lot of stuff and came out. Because of God and his goodness. Right now I am in a relationship with my youngest son. My, my daughters talk to me when they want to. On huge Facebook. I appreciate that. I love all my children. My oldest son is out there. Y'all just keep them in prayer. That one day my family will be reunited. And they will learn to forgive me. And sometimes they say forgiveness. Is not being in that person's life. They don't have to. But hopefully they will give me a chance. And be in my life one day. Because I have changed my life around. And I love them dearly. And they no longer no victim. They're vic living victoriously. There are no victims no more. And neither am I. Okay? So it's just putting up boundaries and knowing that you love you more. And that you're not going to settle no more. And that you're not going to keep going around in circles no more. Okay? We cannot do that to ourselves. We got to love ourselves first. I was listening to uh, one of the women were saying... That she would die or give her life for a man. No. Your children are the most important thing in the world besides yourself and God. There ain't no man worth dying for. No man on this earth worth dying for. Unless it's your son. Okay? That's for real. Let's keep it real. You live your life for your family, for your children and yourself. But ain't no man. That's plenty of men to go around. Plenty of them in there. And if they ain't got a man, they do got toys. Okay? That you can go and get. So it ain't that serious. Because I'm not dying for nobody. Unless God takes me home. Okay? That's it. But not for no man. And ain't no man coming before my sons. Or my daughters. Then they come around. Your, your children got to come first, women. Your children are number one. They got to be taken care of. You letting that man come up there to eat up all their food and, 
and, and sleep in your bed and not do nothing. All he's leaving you is a wet behind. What you need him for anyway if he ain't doing nothing for you? And even if he is doing something for you, is he treating you right? Is he loving you? Is he encouraging you? Is he building you up or tearing you down? Ain't nobody going to stand there and watch their mother. And if they live in there, they teenagers at least, uh, treat their mother any kind of way. That ain't happening. So we got to be example to our young women to let them know what it is in a relationship. How they going to learn they're there in the household. They're going to say, okay, well, well, my mom went through that and she allowed a man to abuse her. Oh, that's love because he's talking to me like that. That's love. I'm supposed to keep putting up with it. No, you don't put up with it. And stop, be that example because you got young women in your home. You got to be that example to them. You got to be that example to even a man in your home to say, okay, well, it's okay for a man to abuse a woman. It's okay for a man to just, just not give her no money. It's okay for a man to not help with bills. It's okay for a man to not help around the house. It's okay for a man to cuss a woman out or talk to her anyway or lay hands on her. No, it's not okay. You also the example for that young man in the house. If there's not a father figure in there, you got to stand up and be that example of how he should, a woman should be treated. Because he's seeing all of that. Or how you treat and how you allow it. And sometimes a man or a, a child or a boy or girl or whatever would say, hey, I don't know. I don't even want no relationship. Then they go to a man. Or then they might go to a woman because they don't want to even deal with that kind of relationship. If a relationship is like that, if love is like that, they'd be like, I don't want no relationship. Uh-uh. It's too much. But there are good relationships. There are healthy relationships. We just got to put up boundaries. We just got to know our boundaries and know our limits and know what real love is and what is not. We got to learn that today, women. We don't need no abuse in our lives in any kind of fashion, form, or shape. Tell them to shape up or ship the hell out with the quickness. With the quickness. Don't even give them no chance. You see them red flags? It's time to move on. Because you can, one hit in the wrong place, you can end your life. I was with an abusive man and one hit, he almost hit me right there. And they said, it's a place right there that connects to the brain somewhere. Well, if he would have hit me any harder, I would have been dead instantly. Dead, one hit. I'm letting you know, abuse is not love. I'm just keep repeating that, I keep iterating it, and it's true. Abuse is not love in any form. If a man is doing a woman doing it, don't matter who's doing it. Abuse is not love. And treat your children right and respect too. Be an example to your children. Take time out if you need a break. But don't take time out on your child. That's going to be next. On how to love your children without abuse. There's a this way, there's discipline way. There's ways you can discipline, excuse me, without being abusive, okay? Remember you to be love yourself. Jesus loved you today. And remember that you are loved. You are important. You are special, you are gifted, you are blessed, and just know that Jesus loves you, and I love you too. You stay encouraged, women, and know you don't deserve no abuse in any forms. God bless y'all. Till next time.